Hello, we're going to retouch this old image using Bamboo Capture Photoshop Elements and the Bamboo Capture's pressure sensitive pen. First thing we're going to do is create a new layer. This is the icon in the lower left of the layers panel. If you hover over that icon, you'll see create new layer. Simply click that button and a new layer is placed here. The reason for this is all edits are going to go on this new layer, not damaging the original. The first tool we're going to use is the spot healing brush. Once you select the spot healing brush, go up to the brush option bar. The first dialog here, there's a drop down. If this is the way it looks from the flyout menu here, rather than small thumbnail, choose stroke thumbnail. I like the 19 pixel wide hard edge brush where pressure affects the size of the brush. The reason for that is when I come out and paint over the image, it's going to apply pressure. The harder I press, the wider that brush is going to be. The other thing to make sure you do is click Sample All Layers. This is what gives me the ability to sample all visible information and put it on a new layer. So once those are checked, we're going to just simply paint out this crack. And we can paint out any hot spots or damage to the image fairly quickly and easily. And up here, I'm going to paint out the crack that appears to be going down on his chin. Uh, let's go ahead and paint out the scratch here. Getting the, all of the obvious points on the image that are viewable from a distance. And then we can also use the zoom function of the tablet. By simply ex expanding my fingers, we can zoom in and I can address some more close up issues coming in. I don't want to make it look like a new image. I just want to make it look like a better old image. I'm going to address some of these tears in the photo. And right here we have a continuation of that tear. We've done a little damage here. This is where we'll move on to the clone stamp. So with the clone stamp or the S key on the keyboard, go ahead and choose the clone stamp. Once again, we're going to choose a brush commiserate to the task. I like the soft edge brush where pressure affects the transparency when I'm working with the clone stamp. In this case, for the damage that I did here to the collar, I'm going to tap. It's going to tell me that I need to sample. So holding down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard, we're going to sample information similar to what we're wanting to paint in. And it's not going to do anything until I once again click Sample All Layers. So Sample, Source, Paint it in, Sample, Paint it in. And now I've fixed his collar. I can do repairs much like I would do with this healing brush as well. And I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to use the clone stamp to fill in his jacket as well. Once again, I'm going to come up. I can either choose a larger brush, but because I'm going to use the same kind of brush, just larger, left and right bracket keys increase the size of a brush the behavior will be the same. So choosing a fairly large brush, hold down the option key to sample information that I want to paint in, and I simply apply more pressure as I want more of that effect painted in. Sample, and I can paint in information over here in his shoulder. I can always resample information if I get close to a line that's going to paint in information I don't want. And not do too much more. I'm going to sample on a seam so that I can extend that seam into the side or edge of the photo. And I'm going to sample also on the shoulder itself and extend that information into the edge of the photo as well. And I'm going to reduce the size of my brush. Once again, left and right bracket keys. Hold down the sample. Paint it in. Hold down the sample. I'm going to choose on the lapel and follow that line into the edge of the photo and paint out all of that. I'm going to add a little bit more over here to the shoulder because I think it's still a little light for my liking. And that's it. We've gone from that to that in about three minutes. Thanks for watching.